Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. Another option for treating men with locally advanced disease is the use of hormone therapy all by itself. Hormone therapy means we're going to lower the male sex hormone called testosterone, and we can do that in various ways, either by surgery or by injections that block the production of testosterone in the body. And in that way, we can kill some cells and slow down the growth of other cells. It is a reasonable option that was primarily developed for men with more advanced metastatic disease. But in a man that prevents with locally advanced cancer, there is a significant risk that cancer is in other parts of the body. We just can't discover it. Even if you have a bone scan or a CAT scan, there still may be cancer cells that have escaped the prostate gland. And so the problem with surgery or radiation is that they may not take care of the whole problem and they have their share of side effects, which have been discussed. Hormone therapy is another way to go. One of the things we do know is that hormone therapy will delay the development of metastatic cancer. That means cancer that spreads into the bones or other organs. But whether it prolongs survival remains an unanswered question. We can't say for sure where that fits. And so there's an ongoing debate whether it is a good alternative therapy. And the answer is it is a reasonable alternative therapy. And unless we get good clinical trials that compare it to surgery or radiations plus hormones, we're not going to know where it fits. I would say it's a more conservative option than the others I've discussed. But is it significantly worse? That is something we can't say at the present time. The side effects of hormone therapy long term, hot flashes, decreased sex drive, some weight gain, some thinning of the bones, and there can be some metabolic uh, effects as well. So it is something to balance in this decision process. But for a man that wants to be a little bit more conservative, perhaps they're older, less healthy, they're not as concerned about eliminating the cancer and more concerned about just controlling it and stabilizing it, hormone therapy may be a reasonable option in that setting. Thank you.